Bismillah, alhamdulillah, salatu wassalam ala rasulillah, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So today, one of my teachers mentioned something that I thought I should share with everybody. Basically, he was talking about a particular issue in fiqh, and he was explaining how complicated it is, and how some people, they might think that something is incorrect, but then, if they really research the issue, they'll find that maybe some of the, uh, the big scholars of this ummah, people that... Uh, all of us respect and admire that perhaps they might have had an opinion different to what they thought was correct and if you look into their evidences and proofs um, it might even change your mind for example and he related this to some of the actions of some of the students he was saying how subhanallah there will be students they come here and they're in level one Musta wal awwal and uh, they won't give people salams they won't say salam alaikum to certain people. And they'll, they'll be all caught up in talking about, oh, this person said this, this person said that. Don't sit with this guy, don't sit with that guy. And they're only in level one. You know? Even if you ask them some of the basic questions about fiqh, some of the most essential elementary things, they wouldn't even be able to answer it. Yet they're spending so much of their time backbiting people, slandering people, lying about people. And it's not benefiting them at all. It's not benefiting them here, here in Medina, and it's not going to benefit them in the hereafter when they have to stand before Allah and answer for all of the, the backbiting they did and the slandering of people. And he said, you know, people, they'll come here, and they'll spend so much of their time focused on this sort of thing. And before you know it, the years pass by, they go back to their countries, and they're expected to be knowledgeable people. Yet all they did was spend all their time talking about people. And, and spending all their time in other people's business. So what did they benefit? They didn't benefit here in Medina in this life, and they're not gonna they're not gonna benefit from that in the hereafter. And this is something that I've heard many times from my teachers here, but just since it happened today, I figured I share it with everyone while it was fresh in my mind, just to let people know that this is this is the sort of things that the teachers here um, tell the students. So if you see students going around acting otherwise. I don't think that that is um, an accurate portrayal or representation of the Islamic University of Medina. And um, one thing that I would like to add is that if that's the case for students that come here and they're in level one here, or even if they're in level two or three, what does that say about people who engage in this information who they never even came to Medina? They're not in level one. They're not in two or three. They're not in any level. They haven't studied anywhere. They don't know Arabic. What about them who, who waste all their time in, in these sorts of uh, things? So, may Allah guide us. Jazakum Allahu khairan for listening. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.